Yeah, definitely those historical cover-ups and things of that nature where folks are not wanting to tell the truth, like you said, that should be told and things of that nature. Now, just to uh, get back to um, definitely enjoying this conversation, but I want to get back to both of your careers as well. So, Deanna, what are your latest projects? Oh, by the way, you mentioned that you might be on um, that um, talent show and everything. I was going to say that we do a major one here in uh, North Carolina, we actually started it, me and some friends of mine, it's called The Road to the Apollo, so we've actually taken winners up to New York to compete at the Apollo and have had like really? a Really? Um, hello? So, Jana, so what, what kind of, uh, are you working on a current album now? And uh, how is that album going? And do you have any concerts coming up? So, um, I've been dark as far as shows and things like that because I wanted to rework some things. Um, like I said, I'm kind of, my um, background business dealings, I have kind of have some, um, some new people I'm working with and, you know, out with the old and with the new kind of thing. So, I've had to do a lot of um a lot of reworking and, and starting over this past year with a lot of things, but um, I am working on, um, I'm actually co-producing a movie, um, and I can't really say much about it that right now, but um, I'm really excited about it. It is um, a movie that does have a Native American female lead, which will be me. <laughs> um, so that, that's great. That's great. That because I really yeah, I'm really excited about that because I want to get back into acting and things like that. But as far as the music, um, I still have an album, and I've, my fans know that I recorded an album a few years ago. It has not been released yet, but I do, um, I'm do. i looking to do some remixes on the album. But again, I, wanted to, I don't want to just put out songs just for, for the sake of putting them out because I really want to, you know, make sure that it's my my heart and soul and then I'm in it and I have shows to back it up. So I've kind of put that on the back burner right now. But I thought that, you know, when I got the invitation, really excited about an invitation to do, you know, to, to audition for America's Got Talent, and I thought about, you know, though I'm professional and things like that, I should, you know, I tell, I tell people who ask me how to get in the business, I say take every opportunity that you can to get yourself out there and, you know, I have to practice what I preach. So for me, if it's about starting over and, and, and doing that, I'll do that because I want to make sure everything is right and it's, and it's good and I present myself the way I want to be presented. Um, so, yeah, so I'm hopefully, fingers crossed, I can at least get to a round to where I can, you know, get to uh, the next round for the audition. So I'm crossing fingers at this point. Um, but yeah, so that's really kind of what I'm doing right now with the with the movie and you know with with the audition and things like that. But as far as my new music, I'm kind of putting on hold until I see what these other projects do. So, but it's really exciting. I'm really excited about next year. I think 2018 for me was a a year of um, a lot of soul searching for and, and really kind of um, you know thinking about how I want to move forward with the next phase of my career. So I'm really excited, actually. Very excited. Sounds like it. Sounds like you're very excited. Yeah. And uh, Alyssa, um, yeah. you were talking about the studio renovations and things of that nature, and I was just wondering, do you incorporate some of your, uh, when you're looking at some of the houses, because that's actually been another trend that's been going on. A lot of people try to incorporate some aspects of the old ways into their housing and things of that nature. So even when you're doing less of your traditional artwork but doing more of the renovation, do you try to incorporate some of the uh, things that are going on now? Because as I was told to Jana before you joined the call, we were talking about how a lot of people are now getting into things that were in the Native culture forever, even in terms of the way that they're doing their houses, like designing the houses, that they're more um, functional, for lack of a better term. Like I was having a conversation with a friend of mine, and we were talking about um, how popular 
spas are and have been now for decades, but, you know, the culture was doing that with sweat boxes hundreds of years ago. So right. that, that's nothing new. <laughs> that's nothing new in, in reality. Well, I do, I do have a room that um, was supposed to be a bathroom in the studio, and I didn't, all I did was stick a utility sink in there. And, but I did have this vision of, oh, you know, eventually I could turn this into a, into a sweat room in here, like a sauna in here if I wanted to, because it's just about the right size for that. But um, that might be a little bit uh, in, in the future. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I did think that. But I'm mostly just thinking about being able to spread out my different mixed media art forms just and, and have my art so I don't have to put anything away so that I can really just get lost in it and be free, you know, without any, without any encumbrances, you know, like without anything in the way, I can just kind of move from one piece to another. And if I get stuck on a piece, I just, just, just glide on over to the other and work on it for a while and just have that space. That's just so important. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And uh, listen, one of the other things that I know that uh, we were talking about with Janet earlier was, uh, you know, in three days, Thanksgiving is coming about. And for a lot of people within our various cultures, it's not really a day of celebration. It's a day of mourning because uh, even Janet was talking about her, her family really doesn't celebrate it in the way that a lot of the folks would want you to celebrate it. And uh, I was just wondering how your family celebrates it. And I was also going to share that uh, there was actually a Twitter storm or Twitter storm, I should say, earlier because a young lady had uh, put out how he felt that um, we we're doing totally wrong by the way that we teach our youth and getting them involved in uh, basically playing cowboy and Indian and things of that nature. So there was a lot of uh, black feedback that she got. But I just wondered how your own family uh, treated the holiday or whether you even bothered to celebrate it at all or if you found other ways to celebrate. Well, I think it's a good opportunity to to talk about Native agriculture like all these foods that we're eating, I mean, pe- pe- again, people don't realize, like, most of the stuff we're eating comes from, you know, Native American technology, quote, unquote, it's the agriculture. And I think it's a great time to, like, really get into, like, squash, you know, and the cranberries, like, you know, put 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 nuts in the cranberry sauce, or, like, really, like, go Native with it, you know, and, and give it its just due and then enjoy it and maybe have it more about harvest and maybe more about fall season and everything that represents, like the the honoring of the ancestors in the fall and the the, the whole, you know, the fall being the stage of life where there's die off and we move into winter and just making all those connections and, and, you know, all those, all that symbolic stuff, just kind of like bringing it to light. Just kind of take it back. Like, yeah, and that's a, and that's what I think a lot of folks are trying to do is find ways to reclaim the dialogue because a lot of times the dialogue is told the other way that uh, has been um, disrupted not about what was going on. And like you said, the agriculture, that that we had, the of black farmers, uh, and actually the, uh, it's a husband and wife. Uh, wife is actually uh, made of that uh, of that nature. I imagine that even in your home, Jana, of around Lumberton, you've probably seen a lot of farmers that have wound up having to give up their farmland because of uh, bigger businesses coming or just the youth not being involved or wanting to be involved in uh, agricultural kind of businesses, even though that can be a very lucrative field and can actually be one that can be economically beneficial for us. That is true. Um, Yeah, because even just, you know, we know we have in North Carolina, we have um, a couple of colleges, colleges specifically NC State, where they're big in agriculture degrees. You know, a lot of the younger folk are not you know they're not they're not grabbing those they're not getting into that because the big thing is technology right and to be you know again like Alyssa was saying everything's about money right so it's like what can bring in the most money as opposed to what's really good for us um, going back to really healthy eating because that's another type of what I call bioterrorism 
the food that we eat in this country, you know, specifically, like the additives, the, the preservatives, the steroids, like all that is so unhealthy for our physical body that will make us mentally sick and then we'll, you know, and our spirit is, is, is to, you know, dies from that, you know. If you're not healthy in your, in your body, you're not healthy in your mind. So, yeah, I love that Alyssa mentioned let's celebrate just for Nate, at least for this holiday, let's celebrate the agricultural aspect of the food um, because that is the original organic, which is like what people spend a lot of money on, organic foods. You know, that's kind of what our, you know, what we have. That's what we were brought up on is the original foods. Like my grandmother, both my grandmothers, had gardens and they had farms and they tended to it and they ate you know, they ate their own food. They grew their own food. That's just kind of what my family did. So it's, you know, it's going back to those old ways. You know, you know the, the three sisters, corn, maize, and beans, you know, that's the three sisters. That's like gives us life, gives us sustenance. So I love that teaching aspect of maybe turning the holiday around to a, a teaching thing as opposed to just, um, you know, giving thanks and, you know, it's the Hollywood thing of, everyone comes together and we're all sitting at a table and everyone's just great. And it's like, you know, it didn't happen that way, but, but let's turn it around to make it something positive because, um, because I think we do need to go back to some traditional ways to make people, people will be happier. I think a simpler life is, it can make for a better life. I don't know. That's just me personally, but I think it would no, you know, yeah. just for the health of our country, you know? Definitely. Um, and, uh, actually, and, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I said go ahead. Well, you were our, yes, spiritually our country is definitely not in a good place. That's my personal opinion. Um, and I think that, you know, a lot of people are not feeling, you know, good energy. There's not good energy with our country right now. So any ways that we can bring something positive to, to contribute, something where, we're not just seeing, you know, every day is the stresses of, you know, with our government and things like that and, and, and mass murders. There's so many bad things that are going on. We need to go back to simpler life, you know. There's just so much. There's so much energy that's not necessarily the good kind of energy, you know. Yeah, that's great. So, that. Also, yeah. So, actually, also misaligned, too, if you talk to people in the world and everything, they try to paint the Native community as if it's a very small minority. And, yes, there may be not as many as folks want to acknowledge, but when but then when you talk to people just in general, a lot of people claim the Native part of their heritage. So I think it's probably right. more than the 1% that then the Census Bureau oh, would have yeah. to claim because a lot of people would just have you believe that it's only maybe 1% of the population, but then if you add... Like, definitely even some of the Latin people have definitely connections to the Mayans and the Aztecs, which were definitely of the um, Indian communities and things of that nature. So it seems to me that we definitely have the numbers way uh, misaligned, in my opinion. There's a lot. Yeah, we're, we're mighty and strong in numbers. Like you said, there's a lot of people that have mixed blood, and they have, you know, native blood, and there's a mixed blood, and that's, again, that's the inclusivity. Why not? You know, we... There's, we're we're a lot you know a lot bigger community, but again it's not about separating. It's about coming together and and making things work. You know we need to um, you know there's too much divisiveness. You know not you know just in our country in general. Because that's one of the things that I think people forget about is the fact that the Native community was definitely very vital in a lot of struggles. I mean it was Natives that actually. Um, sheltered a lot of the slaves that were runaway slaves and things of that nature. And then even yep. in more uh, recent times, if you want to go back to like the 60s and the 70s, uh, folks forget that even though all of these leaders that I'm about to mention have uh, passed away, but um, definitely um, from what I understand, Malcolm and uh, Russell Means were definitely in regular conversations about ways that uh, those fights could be organized together because they both recognized that there was a joint uh, benefit to having that conversation go on and it wasn't just them. I'm sure they were probably also involved with conversations with Jesus Chavez and probably even like uh, Martin Luther King and folks of that nature because they, all of those people understood that if we're really going to be a true country of diversity, we have to have those kind of conversations going on on a regular basis and have respect for each other. Absolutely. 